On Maui, a woman is dead and a man is in the hospital after their vintage car crashed yesterday. Experts say these classic cars are unique, but not the safest on the road. Christy Tomashiro has details. Maui police responded to a car crash on Haleakala Highway. When officers arrived, they found a 1941 Ford Woody station wagon destroyed. The 76-year-old male passenger was taken to a nearby hospital. The driver, identified as 76-year-old Linda Howlett of Kula, died at the scene. It's unfortunate. You know, anytime we have to go knock on someone's door, and let them know their loved one's never coming home. It's difficult. Alcohol, speed, and drugs did not appear to be factors in the crash. Instead, the vehicle had a mechanical failure. Unfortunately, it had some dry rot in the rear tire, and it caused a blowout. And the worst thing that you can do when you have a blowout is uh, hit your brakes, because what happens in crash dynamics is it spins the car around. So the car got spun, she hit the embankment, and uh, it rolled over. Police say vintage cars don't have the same safety features as modern cars like airbags and seatbelts. In Sunday's crash, both the passenger and driver were both wearing seatbelts they installed themselves, but it wasn't enough. Back in 1941, the whole car is built out of wood. Um, there's no crush, there's, there's no shell for anybody to survive in. And, Unfortunately, the driver didn't survive. Experts say these vintage vehicles were the first generation of cars after the horseless carriage. The steering were very loose. The brakes weren't very good. The suspension had almost nothing to it. Police say the couple was coming from the county's trigger trunk event when the crash happened. Oh, to everybody you know involved in the vintage car community and everybody who knows the uh, the Howlett family, you know, we, we extend our deepest condolences. You know, we're going to do our best to wrap the investigation up and and try and provide the best answers that we can for the family. This is the 15th traffic fatality for Maui County compared to six at the same time last year. Chrissy Tom Shiro, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.